not do it for fame. I do not do it for you. I put myself through the pain. Time to start facing the truth. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika Zen. I am Tamika. Get on in here, y'all. Get on in here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. You are now in the den. So guys, today I'm here to talk to y'all a little bit about a movie called Darkness of Man, okay, with your man Van Zam. How many of y'all was rocking with the old school Van Zam movies back in the days? I know I was. It's a nostalgia for me. So Van Zam is back out here in these streets, y'all, 2024, okay, with a movie called Darkness of Man came out May 21st, 2024. It's out now. Action thriller, okay, independent feature film from Sabian Films. It is available on Apple TV, Prom Video, Fanzango at home. So you can kick off your shoes, relax your feet right in the house and get all up into it. So you saying, okay, John Corbin, Zan, Tamika, what else going on? Well, baby, we had some guest stars, okay? Sticky Fingers was in the building. I said, okay, I ain't see you in a minute. Shannon Daltrey, I ain't see her in a minute. Hey, girl, you know, Eric Roberts. And this is all surrounded by, like, you know, the mobs of it all, the groups of it all. We got Koreans, we got Russians. We know it got to be a lady involved. Every good story starts out with a lady and a promise that we make to somebody and we know that we shouldn't be making promises that we can't meet out here in these streets, okay? But we do have, um, you know, Ryan Zam, okay, playing um, Hatch in this, a washed up Interpol officer, former Interpol officer who basically was not able to save this lady. Okay. She got taken out in a raid where everything done went daggone wrong. And he made this vow to keep her son safe no matter what. And since we have all of these merciless groups going over here, fighting over, you know, turf wars and all of that, we are saying that we will stop at nothing to make sure that we keep him safe. We're going to fight everybody that get in his way. We way down deep in the criminal world underground of it all and the deeper we go the darker things is getting so you hear that and you hear you know van zam van zam out here in these streets baby if you thought because y'all know i'm gonna keep it real with y'all no matter what okay let's not make no mistakes if you thought it was going to be you know your man van zam from back in the days he done got a little older right got some age on him so if you thought that you was about to be out here getting the kicks all right away right, the flips the jump off the dag on top like the blood sport of it all if you thought he was about to be over here on the side of the ropes bouncing and then he was gonna be doing like the one two step one two step you know drop it like it's hot Flip it and reverse it. No, babe, that's not what you're getting. Okay, it's not that at all. Uh, Van Dam very much was giving me, you know, Danny Glover, lethal weapon. I'm too old for this shit. Okay, he said he ain't got time. I'm gonna give y'all a little something though. So, you know, he's still an OG. We got to put some respect on his name. And he wasn't necessarily fighting with the same weapons that he normally would have been fighting with from back in the days. Okay, we got these hammers out here now on these streets, right? And we are using those to defend ourselves, which is fine, okay? Because we still going to get it pop, 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 goes the weasel, one, two, three. You know, you out if you know what you're doing and you about it and you are working as an Interpol officer, then I would expect that you're going to be good when it comes to that as well now as far as the story for me you guys like i said you know i'm gonna keep it real i wanted to feel something for this girl that he was supposed to be protecting i wanted to feel something for this son that she's now left behind that he feels like it's so important for him to step in and keep this vow to her that you know he's not gonna let nothing happen to him i also want to know who is it that took her out are we gonna find them are we gonna know which one was it the koreans you know and then why would it be the koreans if she's korean and was it the russians or you know Know, what did she tell on somebody so we want to get all of this and we definitely want to root and i'm somebody just by nature that when i'm watching a movie you know when we get to that part even though we already know and it tells us in the synopsis that she's taken out so this is why he makes the promise you know of watching her son i'm still gonna sit there and be like fight girl fight okay grab him slap him scratch him get them get out the window like you know i'm still gonna be rooting for her and wanting her to be able to get through on this phone call that she's trying to make to him and unfortunately he can't get to her because he got his own situation going on and so we want to understand like why he feels so guilty why he wanting to get you know to be able to save her son so bad why he feels like he wish he could go back in time and he wish he made never made a promise that he couldn't keep and all of that but it was just sometimes y'all for me that 
the connections just wasn't connected okay i really did not care because it was taking too long to get to the point it was taking too long for me to get to the story sometimes less is more i felt like we could have cut some things down narrowed some da things down got to some things a little bit quicker and i might have been able to enjoy it a little bit more and then you're like okay well at least tamika come on i know the fight was fighting i know he was out here kicking behind and yeah he was kicking behind like i said he was knocking them out and he was taking some knocks you know he would be like i'm stumbling i'm falling you may have knocked me out but i'm about to get back up and show you how the ogs do it and all of that but um it still could have been a little bit more when it came to those parts too some of it was a little too dark for me you know they be wanting to have these movies where it's dark and you got to keep trying to brighten up your daggone tv to see <laughs> what the heck is going on like i don't want to be doing all of that i want to be able to just enjoy it and you know definitely because i love karate films i love action films and all of that so if it's fight scenes i want to be like yeah kick they behind give it to them do this do that and there was a few in there that you were able to do that that with it but i don't know if some people are just going to even hang along you know to the point because it is a slow start to it um you know to find out that point where it's like okay now we're here some people may back out of it before then some people may not because artists objective we all like different things but that's why i wanted to kind of just tell y'all a little bit of my take and see who's watching this right did you even know it was out are you watching it have you watched it did you have it on your list to watch it put it in the comments let me know tell me what you thought about this you know and all of that good stuff give me you know like comment share subscribe 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 if you are so inclined okay and give me a wave let me know you came by put some flames up in the sky y'all all right till next time Toodling.